Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to another video on my channel, Hair Delicious. If you guys are new, make sure to hit that subscribe button to stay updated on hair loss news, hair transplant tips, and just about anything pertaining to hair loss. Now, it's been a while since I've actually covered the topic of micro needling for hair loss. So today's video is going to be about using micro needling and other supplementary products to promote hair growth for balding men. And for those who actually have no idea what micro needling is, micro needling is oftentimes used on the face by causing wound healing, uh, which still stimulates the healing response and it kicks in the production of collagen which results in healthier hair. It also uh, reduces wrinkles and dark spots. So in the same sense, multiple studies confirm that microneedling the scalp also helps promote collagen production. It also allows better blood flow and nutrients into the scalp and it also induces new stem cells that support healthy hair growth. There's a lot of people who've actually had great success when other known hair loss treatments uh, did not give them any noticeable results. So this is common amongst you know hair loss sufferers who have been on finasteride, dutasteride, or minoxidil, or a combination of the three, and they have actually not seen any good hair growth, but noticed hair growth only when they introduced microneedling into their regimen. And there's a lot of multiple scientific studies that confirm microneedling's efficacy in promoting hair growth. So this isn't you know snake oil treatment or anything that isn't backed up with studies or, or science. A lot of people seem to be using various combinations of hair loss treatments including supplements, um, you know, essential oil, sandalores, um, you know, finasteride, dutasteride. But the majority of the users who have incorporated microneedling strongly believe that some form of needling has been a real difference maker for them, uh, you know, no matter what type of topicals or drugs that they were on. Before I show you guys some before and after photos, make sure to go ahead and visit my website at hairlessgc.com for all of your microneedling needs, hair loss supplements, my DHD blocking shampoo and serum, and also my laser helmet. I actually included a bundle package which includes the laser helmet, shampoo, hair loss serum, micro needling devices, and supplements for a really good price. And you guys will actually end up saving you know a few hundred dollars, so make sure to check that out. Also, if you want to customize some of the products as far as quantity and the types of the products that you guys want to purchase, you guys can also shoot me an email and we can get that customized for you. So without further ado, let's take a look at some of the results that micro needling users have seen. So I actually found this guy on Hair Loss Talk and he states that he's been on finasteride for the past seven years, Nizro shampoo for six plus years, and minoxidil for 12 plus month stretches at least three times during the last decade. And the said regimen really hasn't done much for his hair loss. And he didn't really experience any shedding or regrowth, but when he started using thermal rolling combined with minoxidil, uh, in 10 weeks, he got the following results. The before and after photos are just spectacular and it's obviously a no-brainer that this guy has been a great responder to micro needling and he has actually seen some really good hair regrowth on his crown mid scalp and also his temples my next subject is actually a follower on my Instagram channel at hairliciously and he sent me the following photos after he was using minoxidil 5% twice a day derma stamping every four days using a 1.0 stamp as well as daily uh, head massages for 20 minutes he's not taking any hair loss medication such as finasteride or dutasteride and the results that you guys are about to see are solely from micro needling with minoxidil. This guy also has had really good hair regrowth and is one of the best results that I've actually seen in just a span of four months. His before photos are clear that he was diffuse thinning along the temples. But man, he was actually able to gain a huge amount of density and hair growth back and he has actually been very satisfied with his results. The other thing worth mentioning, like I said, is that all of this is happening without having to use any DHT inhibitors like finasteride. So I can only imagine how much more hair growth he would see if he actually incorporated something like finasteride or dutasteride, but currently he doesn't have any plans to use uh, finasteride. And this is common amongst many people due to the possible sexual side effects and also psychological and mental you know, side effects, and that is totally fine. So this next guy goes by the username Muzi, and he's also on Hair Loss Talk, and he's been taking 0.5 milligrams of dutasteride every two days as of January of this year. And for several months, he's, he stated that he's been having massive shedding, about 300 to 400 hairs, which is a huge amount, and he did not see any improvements until a month into microneedling using a 1.5 millimeter derma stamp every Saturday with heavy bleeding. Uh, during the first month, he stated that he still has massive shedding, but the hairs on his hairline were thicker. There's tiny vellus hairs, which are sprouting on balding areas on his temples. So here are a couple photos of his hairline and temples before. And then around the second month of using micro needling, shedding reduced abruptly about 80%. And then as you guys can see in these photos, there was visible improvement to his hairline and overall density. The temples have definitely filled in and also his hairline has resulted in new hair growth. So I'm super excited for this guy and his results and hopefully he continues to 
micro needle over the next few months, hopefully with minoxidil, and he should be able to see even better results. And I'm not sure why he's not taking minoxidil, but it seems that he would definitely benefit from it. And also the thing is, he says that he was, you know, having heavy bleeding from micro needling, but that is not required. All you need is erythema or redness, and that should be more than sufficient to do microneedling properly. Okay, so our next guy has been taking finasteride and minoxidil for one year and for the past six months, he was actually using a 1.5 millimeter thermal pen. His before photo isn't too bad and it looks just like his temples were receding and a, a weak hairline. There's nothing crazy, but his after photo shows a much more dense and defined strong hairline with temples that appear to have definitely filled in. So great result for this guy. Okay, moving on. This next guy was actually found on Reddit and for those who want to visit the webpage and ask him any questions directly, I'll leave the link in the description box so you guys can take a look. So this guy claims he's 30 years old with username Scopal Shanks and he is on one milligram of finasteride per day, minoxidil twice a day, and then also uh, weekly Nizro shampoo and bi-weekly dermarolling using a 1.5 millimeter since January. He stated that he has no side effects from finasteride, but he did experience lower libido for a couple weeks, which he um, actually says that he attributes to it being psychological, but that he doesn't actually have any more side effects. His before photo shows temple recession along with a receding hairline and probably some mid scalp recession. I want to say somewhere around a Nord 4A on the Nord scale, but after his seven months on his regimen, his results are fantastic. He did shave his hair back and we can definitely see some strong growth and this guy has literally appeared to have reverse baldness. Really impressed on his results as well, especially the hairline since he actually seen some decent growth. Okay, so this next guy has been micro needling using a derma pen for the past seven months using a 1.5 millimeter every two weeks and minoxidil twice a day. He used finasteride for a year previously, but he stopped due to the side effects. Here's a photo of him before of his scalp, which clearly shows temple recession. And his after photo is phenomenal. The user doesn't think that there was much growth, but it's obvious that there was a significant improvement with new hair regrowth. And as you guys can see from the hair follicles, it's a lot darker. And one of the other things to note is that he claims that he was using minoxidil immediately after microneedling. I usually don't recommend that you guys use minoxidil immediately after microneedling because it can go systemic um, if you do it immediately. Normally, you guys want to wait at least 24 hours before applying minoxidil right after microneedling. But nevertheless, this guy uh, doesn't obviously seem to have any side effects from doing so and is reaping the benefits solely from minoxidil plus microneedling. So awesome job and I hope you actually see more hair regrowth in the future. So this next guy actually had some pretty impressive results. This is a photo of him before he was on minoxidil derma rolling and nice roll. His diffuse hair loss looks pretty crazy and advanced. There's thinning all throughout the mid scalp and also the frontal hairline and he looks like eventually he's going to be on his way to a Norwood 7. This after photo however just looks insane. He claims that this is the result after 3.5 months of minoxidil, dermarolling, nizoril, and finasteride, which he started three weeks ago. So once again, excellent results on this guy, and I am very happy for him. And last but not least, this is actually one of my viewers who has been using my hair licious micro needling device. He states that for the first four months, he was using finasteride and was still losing hair until he started using minoxidil two times a day, nizoril shampoo two times a week, and dermarolling using a 1.5 millimeter length once a week. So he actually sent me an email stating that using a derma roller drastically changed his hair and he actually attributed that to using a derma roller. And as you guys can see, the before and after photo is pretty comparable. This is from June 6th to August 6th and in the span of two months, you can definitely see the temples filling in as well as the frontal hairline. So great results and I hope that he is going to be able to see better results as the months progress by. So thank you very much for sharing. One thing that I didn't want to address uh, there's a lot of questions that I get in terms of microneedling after hair transplantation. Some of my viewers asked me why I ended up getting a hair transplant if microneedling is so effective in uh, regrowing back hair. So in my case, I was actually born with a large forehead, also with temple recession. My case of hair loss um, isn't considered severe unlike a lot of other people who actually have more than just temple recession. So I've always wanted to lower my hairline a tad bit and the only way for a hairline, uh, meaning the areas where I actually had no hair, is only with a hair transplant. It's equivalent to trying to grow a beard on somebody who can't grow a beard in the first place. So the only solution to lower the hairline is to go with a hair transplant. So 
I still do micro needle, especially on the temples and the temporal points because my temples were also miniaturizing prior to me getting a hair transplant. So micro needling would actually be helpful in that case. And I still micro needle about once a week to prevent further recession on the temples as well as my original hairline because if you guys don't do anything right after hair transplant, chances are you guys are still going to recede. I hope that kind of clears up any misunderstanding that you guys had. So that's pretty much it for today, guys. If you guys have any questions on how to micro needle and also using minoxidil, check out my previous videos, which I actually will leave the links in the description box. Visit my website at hairlessgc.com if you guys want to give micro needling a try, especially for those who have not had any good results from using just minoxidil or finasteride or detasteride. And like I said, many people have had great results, but like in all treatments, the effectiveness also is going to depend from person to person, but it's still worth a shot in my opinion, especially if you are a non-responder to medication or other treatments uh, for hair loss regimens. So thanks for watching guys, and I will talk to you guys next time. Take care.